Hey, I'm Kathy, the Tidy Tutor, and this is Throw It Out Thursday. This week for Throw It Out Thursday, we're going to talk about our DVDs or our CDs, okay? Every one comes in a package. Just because it comes in a package doesn't mean you have to leave it that way. Now, the reason that they come in a package is because is anybody going to just, you know, like pick this up and say, oh good, I'll spend $24 on this. Or is anybody going to buy like a little envelope with something in it and say, oh good, $29.99, I'll buy it. No, it has to be packaged in something or we feel like we're not getting our money's worth. But I'll tell you, in today's day and age of digital, it's a wonder that we actually still have these to purchase. But we do, and also we have some that we just aren't going to throw away and buy it digitally. It costs us money. But I'll tell you what, it takes up a lot of space. This entire box is filled with about 100 um, DVDs and CDs, mostly they're DVDs. Um, some of them are just like this, and then some of them are in packages, okay? So what we're going to talk about is, do we have to keep this package? And if we don't, well, how do we store them then? My daughter Katie, she has had one of these for a long time. It is, you know, a zippered, very big, it holds about two, maybe 250, 250 um, CDs, DVDs, they're mostly all movies. And the thing that's great about this is it's visual. Now I purchased two things today and I was in the store and I'll tell you, there's a lot of choices and I really had to think it through. This is a little storage box kind. It's almost like a three by five card holder. You have a little drawer and it looks really cute. This is a good one to have because it's convenient. The negative thing I saw about this is that you also have to look at the thing or of course you could label it but most of us aren't going to do the labeling and if we are then we have to remember to put it back in the same spot and it just will be a pain in the neck. I don't know how really great this would actually work for our kind of personality because if it's not labeled you're going to have to pull them out to see what it is and then if it is labeled you're going to have to make sure you put it back in the right spot I don't know. Also, it only holds 40 and this is kind of big for 40 The price of this was $15. Now this one I liked a lot. I could have bought one just like my daughter Katie's that I showed you a minute ago, but I don't really like the shape of it. Like this kind of can sit nicely on a shelf or on its side and not take up too much room and it holds a hundred. The only thing about this was that it was $24, like actually $24.99, so it was $25, and the one that was the size I showed you before, that big square size, that was only $18, so, and that one holds like $250, this one holds $100, but see the difference is, I'm not crazy about that size, but the price, boy, it's a difference. Another plus about having one this size, or having one like this, as opposed to something like this, is that it's easily taken with you. So if you have like a DVD player in your vehicle for your kids, you can just, you know, grab this and take it and it, you know, things will be taken care of properly. Or if you're like us and you live in New Jersey and you go to the Jersey Shore, or you go somewhere where, you know, you're out with the family for a full week somewhere. They usually don't have cable in the places we rent, so we bring our DVDs with us and this makes it real convenient. You might be saying, but I really like the pictures. You know, I like having it. I like having the picture of the thing. I'm telling you, it isn't worth it. It really isn't. It uses up valuable space, valuable shelf space. And also when you think about it and you remember that the only reason it comes in a package like this is because you're not going to buy this for $24.99. You're just not going to, and they know it. So they have to package it so that you will. Not to say that it's not worth $24.99, I mean, you know, how many times are you going to watch this movie over and over and over again? And it took technology and people worked on it. I don't have any problem paying for something. But I'm telling you that the reason that they package it like this is just because it's more appealing to spend $24.99 on this than it is to spend $24.99 on this.
So I'll put all the kids' movies in here, or the ones that I know that she likes the most. And in this one, I'll put the ones that, you know, are more grown up and will be in the living room. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. Okay, so let's start tossing. One. Two. Don't you love my fair lady? You could have danced all night. You could have danced all night. Don't look at these and say, oh, I want to save this picture. Okay, I really love this picture. Because what's going to happen is it's going to just pile up and you're not going to get to it. And then you'll have more stuff to deal with. If you really want to get pictures of these things because you love it, go online, print it out, and do something with it right then and there. Make it a day for a project. Don't do this, okay? It isn't worth it. You will be so unhappy. Throw it away. Now, there will be some times when you get a video that looks like it this. It has the name of what it is around the outside. I hate that. Get a Sharpie and write on it. Make sure you write on the wrong side. I don't know. You might be able to write on the right side and it still play. I don't know. Now, it's your choice to mix up music and movies. Do it if you want to. Don't do it if you don't want to. Don't make yourself crazy about it. When you turn the pages and you see, oh, that's a CD for music, you're going to know. When you turn a page and you see, oh, that's the movie I'm looking for, you're going to know. It isn't that big deal. It's not brain surgery. If you want for now, just stick them all in there and then make it a project for your kids or something. Or one day when you're sitting watching TV, say, well, that's what I'll do then. I'll grab my, um, my little book and I'll put them in order if that's what you want to do. But don't stop it from doing it now, okay? Don't stop it from throwing out all of these cases that are just not necessary anymore. This actually is a project that you could give to your kids to do. You could just sit them down with the DVDs and the book that you buy or the box, whatever it is that you decide on, and um, tell them to have at it. Now, if there's some movies that you say, oh my God, I never watched that movie, but you don't want to get rid of it because you're really not sure, then when you put it in there, put a piece of masking tape and write the date on it, and then the next time you watch that movie, write the date again. So after a while, if you are flipping through pages and you see like last year you only have one date on something, it means you haven't watched that movie in a year, it's safe to say you can get rid of it. Now I want to say something about these movies. I can't actually show you any that have the cases on them because I threw these out a long time ago. Believe me, when I got separated, there was nobody more poor than I was, okay? And I got rid of them. Why? Because they're eight tracks, that's why. Look at the space these take up. Get rid of them, okay? It is ridiculous. I understand you spent good money on them, but do you watch them even? And if you do, do you have the space for them? If you do, you know, that's great, then keep it up. You go with your eight track. But if you don't, honey, get rid of them, okay? These happen to be home movies. What? Invest in one of those machines that converts these. If you want to, get in on it with a couple of people that you know, because obviously once you're done, you're done. What are you going to do with that machine after get that? Get friends together and say, I think they might be like 300 bucks. You know, let's get one of those converters and we'll, you know, take turns using it and get our, our movies on DVDs. Not only will it save you space, but also it will save these because these don't last forever. Now, if you got this video because it was on Pinterest or YouTube and you're not part of my peeps, then please go to www.thetidytutor.com and put your name and email in there and get my emails and my regular updates. If you like this video, please like it and leave a comment because I absolutely love to hear from you.